How y'all doing? I'm Tim Broxton. Welcome to Easy Bee's Kitchen. I'm cooking with my good friend today, Jeremiah Howard, and we're gonna show you how to make some incredible, soulful summer confections. Really cool confections. Good stuff, yogurt, we've got some smoothies, and we got the good old standby Kool-Aid. It's really easy, really simple, and very fun. Right here. All right, thanks again for coming back to Easy Bee's Kitchen. We got our soulful summer servings cool confections smoothie pops we're gonna start with one and a half cups of fresh strawberries one and a half cups of fresh orange juice one large ripe banana one quarter cup confectioner sugar 10x that's 10 times refined beautiful stuff for kool-aid hunkies these are named after my grandma's grandmother Telford she just used some good old cherry kool-aid and threw it into these Dixie cups with a popsicle stick and we're gonna show you guys how to do that. Our yogurt pops, we got two cups of vanilla, two cups of blueberries, one half cup confectioner sugar, that's 10 times as well. Or in this recipe and all these others, you can use your favorite toppings, okay, to create any of these lovely, lovely cool confections. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to put them all together. For our smoothie pops, some orange juice and some strawberry, and some banana and powdered sugar. Very good. Okay, for our yogurt pops, we've got some beautiful vanilla yogurt, okay? We got some blueberry, and we got some confectioner sugar as well. And for the Kool-Aid pops, well, cherry Kool-Aid. And we're gonna make red popsicles with them. Good stuff, good stuff. And we're going perfect to... for these hot summer days. All of these are perfect for after school treats, as this one can attest. And the order to make these pops, this is all you need. A popsicle stick, a Dixie cup, tin foil, scissors. This is how you make the Kool-Aid hunkies. First you take the Kool-Aid, you pour it and ha leave a half inch. You guys want to leave a half inch because if you remember, when you freeze uh, liquids, they expand. So leave about a half inch towards the top. Okay. Go ahead and fill her up. Okay. Okay. Great, okay. Jeremiah's filled it up and left about a half inch. And then we're gonna get our scissors. And uh, you guys, if you your kids are already working with scissors, they can do this themselves. But we're just gonna let them cut off a square piece. Okay. Okay. You only wanna stick a hole in the center. Yeah, if you stick a hole in the center, it gives your popsicle stick a place to go and it won't split any more of the tin foil than it has to. And this is gonna be a nice little treat uh, when your child or you are holding this, it's gonna catch some of the reserved juices uh, before I they fall onto your lap or put wherever it, else you don't want them. Put it like that. But that's correct. You put it right down. You wanna put these, uh, the tin foil right over, directly in the center, and you just cup it off just like Jeremiah did. It is really that simple. There you have an inexpensive popsicle if I've ever seen one. Mm -hmm. it, it would be even cheaper if you weren't using these Kool-Aid coolers to go. If you just buy the packet, get some sugar, hot water, make them up at home. Now we gotta simple. put it in the freezer. That's right, these will be going in the freezer. Next, we're gonna show you what to do with these blueberry popsicles. Blueberry yogurt popsicles, unbelievable, tasty. You might not even like yogurt and you're gonna love these, trust me. We gotta cut this thing on, it'll go round and 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 really pretty. Yep. Alright, and we're just gonna pulse it. So Maya, if you wanna press that button and just pulse it up and down, you'll see a beautiful blue mixture come about. Let go. Push down on it again. I think that's good. Okay. Look at this, guys. It is so good. How beautiful. Can you see the color in there? Blueberries, it's just turned purple. I mean, purple was my favorite flavor as a kid. 
kid. Tim. Didn't know if it was grape or blueberry or raspberry, it didn't matter. As long as it was purple, I was eating it. Okay, I want the spoon and taste a bite of it and see if I like it. Now we're gonna make a different kind. The deciding moment. Yummy. Delicious, cool. Let's Great. make it. All right, Maya's showing you how to fill these up. You just do it just like you did the Kool-Aid coolers. You leave about a half inch towards the top okay. because it's gonna expand. You take the stick, stick it right down the center. Hold your hands over the cup and tuck it down and just uh, stick these right in your freezer. It's really good stuff. Yep. Really simple, really fast, inexpensive, and guess what? Fun. Isn't that right? Yep. All right, we're having fun. Now we gotta make those. This is fun. We're gonna make some popsicles and eat them. All right, I told you guys, this is fun. Strawberries. We're going to take our strawberries and put it in this mixer, and it's going to go round fast. Okay, throw them in. Throw all in the meantime, I'm going to be peeling this banana and just breaking it up into maybe quarters and throwing it in. And then goes our powdered sugar. We always try to like to start with our dry ingredients first. That's just a maybe a quarter cup. You can bag it down to an eighth of a cup. And if you're blessed enough to have incredibly fresh strawberries, then feel free to use no extra sugar. Hand squeezed OJ right here. The good stuff. That's about a cup and a half right there. Now we got to put the lid on. And now we got to stir this up. And we're going, when it's done, we're going to eat it. That's right. And we you got want to make sure all the chunks are are mixed up well, so I guess see. it's called a smoothie, remember? So we're gonna make sure all those chunks are gone, so we're gonna keep processing it. Okay, one, gone. two, three, go! Just hold her down. Now start the pulse again. Let go, press her down. Let go, press her down. Hold. Oh. This is just gonna ensure all the bananas and strawberries are broken up. It's looking really good now, I think we're ready. Oh, look at that stuff. Now I wanna taste this one. All right, Jeremiah's gonna show you how to do this again. This is our smoothie mixture. And I just tasted it and it's fantastic by itself. Throw in some ice right there and you got a really nice simple smoothie. Just poured us up a couple of these. You guys can see this makes about 10. 10, count them 10 of some of the best smoothie pops you've ever had. Maya's helped me a great deal on this and we're just had a blast today. Very simple and fun and tell them how great they are. Really good. If y'all stick around, we'll show you what they look like when they come out of the freezer. Hey guys, welcome back to Easy Bee's Kitchen. We've got these cool confections here. They turned out absolutely fabulous. Jacob, yeah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, you helped me make these. How easy were these to make? Easy. easy. Were they super easy? Yep. Super easy, guys. Okay, this is how it turns out. You're gonna wanna warm, uh, run a little warm water over them, or you can risk popping them like that. But this is our cherry. Right here, we have our blueberry yogurt pop, my favorite. Here's our smoothie popsicles. So they all turned out beautiful and delicious. And I'm going to take these off just so you can get a good view of each and every one of them. This is mine. Jacob's claiming his already. He knows which one he wants. Which one do you want? Um, this one. That one? Okay. So we got blueberry yogurt and we've got cherry Kool-Aid. And I'll have the smoothie. Here you go. You're welcome. This is my favorite. So how they turn out, guys? Good, good. Is this summer fun on a stick or what? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. My name is Tim Broxton. Thanks for coming to Easy Bee Kitchen. Thanks to Jacob. Thanks to Jeremiah. They were such a big help today. And you should also get involved cooking with your family or friends or both. It's fantastic. You can check me out at easybeekitchen.com or at YouTube. 
at youtube.com slash user slash easy b kitchen that's easy b with a capital b kitchen we'll see you next time